I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Our scripture for Tuesday, July 19th, is from the first book of John, the second chapter, verses 1 through 6. My little children, I am writing this to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the expiation for our sins, not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we may, may be sure that we know him if we keep his commandments. It, he who says, I know him, but it disobeys his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly love for God is perfected. By this we may be sure that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. The word of the Lord. Struggling with sin. I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. Verse 1. Do you feel you have a pretty good sense of right and wrong? The letter of 1 John is written to new believers, though it's more of a sermon or devotion than an actual letter. Evidently, some new believers in the Johannine Hanine community have been led astray by false teachers. The author attempts to point them back in the right direction. In the age of the internet, we know about false teachers. We can all be led astray, often to our detriment, and fall prey to a phishing attempt, or fake news website, or a clickbait headline. It feels like piling on to call this sin, but in 1 John, sin basically comes down to turning away from the light and love of God revealed to us in Jesus Christ. This can be alarmingly easy to do. That's why even if you feel confident in your right and wrong discernment, it doesn't hurt to be extra vigilant. Pray for God's guidance, consult with wise people in your circle of friends, Commit yourself to walk just as Christ walked and trust in his forgiveness when you're led astray. Our prayer, our prayer, step by step and day by day, Lord, help me stay true to your path. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.